Oh, hello. It's Daily Run. It's Judas. How long shall we last? We know this, we've been here before. Don't get hit too many times on the first floor, hope for a health upgrade, blah blah blah. Let's talk about nothing else. Key. Key is good. Right, where are we going? We're going to Isaac. So, we can't get past Isaac using daily mechanics unless... Man, these things do not want to get hit. Fuck. <laughs> Need some HP stat. HP? Thank you. Uh, unless we do the self-sacrifice room, that's going to take a lot of HP to achieve that. HP is not something Judas is particularly strong at to begin with, as you can tell. Ah, this though. Death touch. We've been here. I've... No. Don't you bring this back on me, game. Last time we had Judas with Death's Touch and the Sad Onion, as far as... No, Dead Onion. So we had Piercing Shot, Spectral Tears. Very large, but not very much damage. And we died on Boss Rush, which we have to do. And also we have to do Hush, which we have to do... This could be a long run. Uh, this is a fine upgrade, but I would very much rather have some HP at this stage. I don't know. Speed up's kind of nice. Uh, I'd rather have something awesome like EG Magic Mush that just gave us everything. But uh, it's been a while since we've seen such a an amazingly strong item in a daily run, to be quite honest. So we'll just have to go as far as we can and hope for the best. I didn't check other people's scores, although I think they are currently playing them. Uh, they're currently doing their own dailies. Everybody we know who does the daily. So, you know, friendly competition will have to be postponed until after we have all finished. And we're going a little bit slowly, and I don't think we're going, like, slowly directly. I just think I feel slow, but I don't necessarily think we are slow. That was very close. Uh, I would like to speed up just because I feel like we should be speeding up. It's nice to have an explosive diarrhea pill in the rotation. If we pick one up, we can... Oh, I <laughs> somehow didn't take the worst damage in the world just now. Uh, if we find that we have... Whoa, careful. Picked up an explosive diarrhea pill, we can do some good stuff with it. And I'm going to explode my way into this chest, because why not? Probably should have gone in via the pot, because that could give us other stuff. Got a bomb back and a key. That's okay. Um, this is probably worth doing as well. At this stage of the game, a three room. What does a three room do? I think it re-rolls everything on this room. If not everything on the ground. Hmm, interesting. So, the uh, thing is we only have one key left. Which we will use to get the mitre. If we get another key for some reason, then I will probably do that three room. The reason I'm not is that what you want to do is open the lock, shoot the golden poop, get all the coins out of the golden poop, then hit the three room and re-roll everything on the room, and then you've got a good chance of something turning into something awesome. However, uh, if you can't open the poop, then the only thing we're going to roll at that stage is the bomb that we're not going to be able to reach that was sitting on the three itself. Uh, not not a, a huge win to re-roll one thing. So I would probably just save the time this stage of the game. We're doing pretty good damage, actually. That was Champion Monstro. Mm, we should definitely take this. Even though we may have to pay full price for something. Oh, yes. We will probably get Mom's Knife. I don't normally go for Mom's Knife. Uh, puberty. We've got two of them. Uh, but it will extremely help. I'll put it that way. It will be extremely good, super helpful, very useful. I didn't go to the curse room. I was thinking about it. I decided not to. Uh, nine lives is great. Excuse me. Curse. Thank you. And it does actually give us a health upgrade, which is interesting. Normally, nine lives gives you a health down. Please, health down. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm doing terribly. <laughs> Please, remind me how to play this game before everything goes horribly, horrendously badly wrong. That was very close as well. Mom's knife is a difficult one to deal with because the position of the knife is always orthogonal to you. It never changes. It doesn't sort of spring back and follow you like tears do. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have that arc. You can't bank it. So, actually learning to use it can be quite a challenge. It has been for me anyway. Crap! <laughs> can you do that? Is that possible? 
if you're too slow. Maybe not. That could be an impossible. Wow, I'm really taking a lot of stupid damage right now. Mum's knife will do that to me. Um, I have not very much in the way of practice with it, I'm afraid. But now's the time to get it. You know, Mum's knife has shown up. We're using it. Man, I keep going in the right way in terms of getting to the boss. It's completely the wrong way in terms of getting everything. But at least we uh, own the stain, so there's that. But uh, I would very much like to stop taking quite so much stupid damage. If entirely possible. Right, let's go back. We've got plenty of time. We're doing a lot more damage now, which is great. And that means that we're doing a lot more speed, which is great. We have an Emperor card, which can get us through a floor if we're, you know, really tight on time. Um, But honestly, I would rather wait on that until... <sighs> I don't think the Emperor card is that useful on a daily run. There is the self-sacrifice room here. This is maybe a secret room? Feels secret roomy, don't you think? Ah, I'm right. Doesn't always happen, but when it does, I tell everybody. Another puberty pill. Splendid. Uh, the Emperor card, it will skip a floor, basically. Which is only useful if, you know, we feel that boss rush is more important than doing the floor that we're on. Or hush, I suppose. Hush could be a, another valuable speed thingy. But Emperor on daily run, you kind of want to do everything. Um, uh, no. Do not want bum friend. Bum friend rerolls into... Nope. Nope. Please. <laughs> I could have bought something from the shop that are better than these. Yes, daily long legs is a very good item, especially on a daily. Um, mostly because it will do DPS outside of my own, which is extremely valuable. Um, if I'm focusing on one enemy and another enemy shows up, that DPS is great. But Daddy Long is just stamp on it, basically. <laughs> Maybe we can think about looking for the super secret room somewhere. I think I'm just going to make a beeline for the exit and call it done, to be honest. I don't really want that pill. We'll keep the Emperor card, as mentioned, just in case. We have actually made keys. We have come out on top in the key game. I want to pop those, but I'm scared. Algies. Ugh. Hmm. Do you know what? The Algies is probably better in a daily than the Emperor card, because we might be able to get some decent blood bank play, for example, out of the Algies rune, whereas the Emperor is only going to let us lose points. You know, it can get us into a place where we stand to gain more points in absolute terms, but if we're going as fast as... Oh, well done. If we're going as fast as we are, which we are, because we are, that's what we are means then the Emperor is not going to be any use to us, whereas the Algis rune will give us invincibility, which can get us a lot of money out of a blood bank, which is very worthwhile, and Daddy Longlegs is definitely showing its value there, and this is probably a super secret room. It's not. Man, whenever you get to a long corridor like that, I think, ooh, I'll put down a bomb, you know, I'll try my luck at a super secret room, and the world holds its breath, and it's not there. What a letdown. Probably the most awkward thing about Mom's knife, apart from the fact that you can't bank it in order to shoot at an angle, is you don't know how far it's going to go. When you let go, of, you, you charge it up. It's a charged shot. But you can't tell what the range is or how charged it is. We'll take two of space right now and hold on to algae's. We'll open this if we can, which we can. Probably should have checked I could open it before I used the Book of Belial, but that's the hangman could be useful on this floor, but if it's not, I'm not going to... If it's not immediately useful, I'm not going to take it. Hanged man just gives you f basically flight for one room. I hate that. <laughs> Maybe do that again. Uh, so, unless there's something that we really want across a pit. Ares. Uh, kind of sucks. I'm not going to take it. Ares does damage when you walk into an enemy. Uh based on the amount of speed you have when you hit it. Or does it just speed you up and make you do damage? Something like that. Might be a speed upgrade. It's probably not. But even if it is a speed upgrade, it's not really worth it. It's not a brilliant item. Good. Uh, I'm happy with taking more cards. The Ace of Spades, which we have, causes more cards to show up. There's a second locked room. I'm going to go and check it out. This particular thing here is the Rib of Greed. Which makes sure that when you go into a shop, which we're not about to do at all. Yeah, it's a double key room. I thought it was, but I didn't spot it behind these items. Uh, the Ribber Greed makes sure that shops 
never contain greed fights. Uh, hello. Apparently we're pooping everywhere. That's no problem. I am down with that. I'm down with the kids. The kids like their scatological humour these days. Don't you try and pretend that I am not cool. Yes, I'm right. I'm always right, except for when I'm wrong, which we don't talk about. Even though in times, I'm right. It's just I'm definitely right. Goody. Goody ain't gonna last long. See? <laughs> oh, that was probably the most entertaining Goody fight I have had the liberty of... Oh, the pleasure of having a go. The Empress. The Empress will help us kill apparently nothing. Do I want this? Sure. Why not? I do like Demon Baby. Demon Baby's a decent thing. I was more concerned about whether it was worth the price. It did cost us a whole HP. And now we're running on Spirit Hearts exclusively. Don't forget we have nine lives. Every time we die, which should be never, I hope, we will come back with one HP and nothing else. One red HP. I want to kill this fire because I can't be trusted. One red HP if and when we die. Um, the thing is, we have so many spirit hearts at this time. Ah, the chariot is the same as the Algiers, it's not as good. We have so many spirit hearts now that dying would be a bad idea. Uh, and of course, there are reasons to die. And there were reasons yes to die. Oh, <laughs> you funny man. Um, wow, neither of those was a secret room, and I wasted two bombs finding out. Main reasons to die are to buy things from the deal with the devil, and there is a card called the Suicide King, which gives you stuff if you use it, but also kills you. In all these situations, dying is not a terrible idea. However, unless... Uh, I don't want to use our only key, but I'm scared of this. Uh, it's very easy to accidentally use the key anyway, whilst <laughs> when the tractor beam suddenly turns off. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, no. Please no. Man, I really hate those things. These things... I couldn't have came a crop of those yesterday, if I remember correctly. Um, when we have nine lives, because we're going to respawn with just one HP, what the heck? Oh, probably a homing shot. Yeah. Um, then we don't want to die if we have a lot of HP, you know, if we're in a strong position. Don't want to kill ourselves for that. If we only had one HP, then our lives would not really be worth anything. And if you're in a position where you can easily get back all your HP, then sure, spend a life, get some cool stuff. As it stands, we're not in either of those positions. This is a pretty flight, which is cool. We're on Necropolis 1, so we can do the boss without having to get trapped. Obviously, the, the mom fight, you're trapped in. I want to hit it, but also I can't tell how far my <laughs> shots are going. Oh, we picked up the mitre. That's why we're getting so many spirit hearts. Um, that was a very early pickup, but it was actually very much worthwhile. Because it has allowed us to really go nuts. Uh, I kind of don't want to take any of the ones I don't know. Which is all of them, apparently. Ooh. This could be valuable. But I'm going to... I'm going to take it. Fuck it. It'll pay for itself over time anyway. Because it has the... Um, as we've seen before, it has the effect of giving us um, uh, a spirit heart every time we use it. But it also gives us a damage upgrade and stomping. Stomping will allow us to break everything in this room. Stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, 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 stomp. Kind of just looking for HP. Uh, black hearts. Cards, that sort of thing. Didn't really work out. Doesn't really matter. Whew, now we're going to backtrack all the way back here because... Uh, because... Fuck you. You want the item room? You can pay for it. You can work for it. We could go and find the shop. We have a lot of money. Probably worthwhile as well. I think we have enough time. Uh, Ludo Mom's Knife sucks balls. That's a shame, actually, because Ludo Vito Technique is a great item. Uh, what it does is it turns your many tiers into one big tier that you fly around the room like Blue Baby's Only Friend, which we have seen before. Uh, unfortunately, when it's Mom's Knife, it makes one knife that flies around the room really, really slowly and it's difficult to control. Yada yada. I'd love to show it off. I'd love to have a run where Ludovica Technique was a valuable pickup. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. However, we have got a lot of power earlier on in this room, uh, this run already. Uh, we've been here. I don't want to be here again. Excellent. Temperance. Eh, uh, play it. Where's the rest of these boots? There's one. Yeah, good on you, Daddy Longlegs. You're the hero Gotham needs. 
Uh, that temperance is just going to chill out for a while. Uh, I don't really know why I played it. Come to think of it. I guess we'll play it once and see what we get. Oh, we've got the Algis rune, which is exactly why I kept the uh, Algis rune all this time. Just to try and get something out of this. Maybe a HP upgrade from the blood bag? Or if not that, then just all the points from all these coins, I guess. Keep going. Oh, we did get an HP upgrade from the blood bag. As predicted. Call me Nostradamus. Don't. Uh. Oh, shit, there you are. I was thinking, oh, I wonder where it is. I can't see it, obviously. It's dark. Greed. No, not greed, which is <laughs> what I was thinking of saying. It's not what I actually said. We'll take the habit, which will give us one charge on our item when we get hit. Which is great, because the item gives us health back. This is going to be difficult, because we have to shoot this. Oh, we'll just wait for Daddy Longlegs to sort it out. Daddy Longlegs, you the man. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Nothing of value in here. Never mind. We did find in here a battery charge. So we'll use that as well. Now we're at full health. We may have been full health before I did that, but whatever. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Mm, oh. A full card. We had a full card, and instead, now we have a full card. You can imagine how excited I am by this. Uh, fuck that. <laughs> I don't care. Shit. I pretend I don't care, but really I'm dying inside. I'm trying to go fast, so I'm making mistakes. The reason I'm trying to go fast is I want to get to the exit. And down to the next floor. Just in time, I think. We have five minutes. Uh, it seems like it's enough time, but it could not be. Turns out that thanks to the fact that there's a boss trap room here, maybe I didn't want to take the extra HP. You can only get into a boss trap room if you have uh, one red HP or less. And you can only get into a mob trap room if your total number of hearts exceeds or is equal to the number of red hearts you have. So your best bet is to be on one red HP and not dead, <laughs> basically. Or none, I suppose. Ah, an arcade. That means we can actually do it. That's enough. I'll do one more. I think the coins we get back is worthwhile. I probably should have uh, taken the opportunity to use the nail before I did that. The reason being is that that does count as damage for the nun's habit, for the habit. So we would have taken three hits of damage on purpose so we could get in here and get some money. And then we would have got a charge back on our nail by halfway to it because we took three hits of damage. So, in the future, a little bit of min-maxing. It's not the end of the world. You know, we didn't do it. It doesn't matter. Man, loads of batteries. But I don't really want to... Oh, help. <laughs> don't really want to use the nail without... Good reason? That makes sense. I guess it's because. Oh, shit. I'll use it now. Screw it. We have so many batteries that it's not the end of the world to use it now. Uh, deep Pockets allows us to carry two things down on the left, uh, bottom right there. A pill and a card, a card and a card, that sort of thing. You get the idea. Really don't know how far we're going to fling this knife. Pretty difficult to judge. It's probably the hardest part of Mom's knife is knowing where it's going to end up. Uh, although, you don't actually have to fling it. You could just use it as melee. Ooh. Now, uh, <laughs> okay. When the when the run goes to Isaac or Sheol, you really should only do the self sa self sacrifice room on that final floor because you're gonna get. Oh, I've got to be careful here. Hang on. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> I said I've got to be careful. Uh, I wasn't actually going to be careful, but I still had to. You can only really benefit from doing the self-sacrifice room on the very last floor. Because you want to do hush, apparently. According to the min-maxes, anyway. Otherwise, it's not really worth doing. I think we've done this entire floor, which is tremendous. We get points for that, but it still sucks. So, I'm not going to do this self-sacrifice room, even though I'm tempted to. I mean, at least... You want to do boss rush at the very least. This is here. Which we're definitely going to do. We probably could have taken a little bit longer on previous floors, actually. That took zero time. Terrific. But we'll take the Polaroid. For real. And then we will take... Well, there's Blue Baby's only friend, which I mentioned before. Which is the controlled fly thingy that goes around the room. 
I think we want to take spiders. That was a difficult decision because they all kind of sucked for us. The reason I didn't want to take Gimpy is that we have the nail and the habit, which is going to do us perfectly well for HP, you know, uh, for the rest of the game, basically. We're not going to die simply thanks to the fact we have uh, the nail and the habit. Because every time we get hit too many times, we just pop our nail charge, get at least one HP back from that. Uh, over time during boss rush anyway, we're going to get it recharged. Uh, excuse me, I was reasonably sure that you died. Nevertheless, you have not. Uh, we're stomping now, so we can get rid of these rocks if they feel like they feel like they're in our way. Uh, Monstro 2 here is going to have to go, I'm afraid. Wow, that was just bad. Look, something's going to have to give. We can't stay in this fucking shithole forever. Sort it out. Oh, I got him. We have... The Mitre, which is also going to be randomly dropping spirit hearts for us. We can use this again and get our HP back. There's another one there. You can see how basically HP is not going to be a problem. That explains why we didn't take Gimpy. We didn't take Blue Baby's only friend because we have Mom's Knife, which is extremely powerful but also kind of difficult to deal with. And Blue Baby's only friend is one where you have to sort of keep it over the enemy all the time to get any benefit out of it. Uh, especially as we go through into the late game, it's not going to be as effective because it's not going to be doing as much damage compared to the power of the enemies themselves. Especially if we're going to try and get to the dark room where everything is a boss. I mean, even on this room, Blue Baby's only friend is no use. Sissy so Longlegs is causing spiders for us every so often, which a spider does two and a half times your tear damage, which is pretty high damage because we have Mom's Knife. Which is also a piercing shot, so... You know, it's not like Mom's Knife is particularly detrimental to us. In fact, it's got a lot of the better tier effects in the whole game, just you know, per se. It's spectral, it goes over rocks. It's... Ooh, hello. Um, it's piercing, so it goes through enemies. It's extremely powerful. So having random spiders every now and then that are just doing extra damage is... Way... Help me. Make it, make it stop. I could do with the rocks that I'd smashed. You fucking dick. Look, this is not... This is not good. One of these has got to go. That was a difficult wave, because both of these things are bullshit, in my opinion. There we go. Uh, and the other one, I don't even remember what I gave up to take Sissy Longlegs. It was probably horse hockey. But it was apparently not good enough, so I didn't take it. That one's dead. This one's dead. Be careful for the hoppers. A large trick to Mom's knife is trying to keep it on the enemy for as long as possible, but... I don't actually have that particular trick under my belt right now, so I couldn't tell you how to do it. But it is a trick. These hoppers need to go, because they're going to jump on me from across the room and I'm going to be pissed off. Are they gone? Not sure I've gone. Excuse me? Hello? Oh, have you turned into a thing? Yes, you have. Aha. Stand up here so I can be above the bloat, which is always important. I caught the uh, caught the shot from bloat there. That's okay. Nearly caught another one. That's okay. Didn't. That's the important thing. And bloat is dead. Get rid of bloat quickly always feels good. Plenty of spirit hearts on the ground to keep us bolstered. Because I'm taking a lot of damage on this because of mum's knife. Uh, that's kind of shit as well. I'm going to take it. <laughs> Fuck it. Magnetic attractor. We'll see what it does. I'll show you what it does. Maybe it doesn't work with Mom's knife. That would be nice. Well, you can see it. Uh, it's magnetic. I'm hoping that it will have the effect of dragging things into the knife rather than into me. Pop. Good. Man, I'm glad I got the hang of that room before I got too upset with not having the hang of that room. Careful. <laughs> things explode. It's known to happen. Not even barrels, just enemies. We don't need to... We're, we're really ahead of time. We got into boss rush so early. It's not even funny. It's kind of funny. Wow, that was just a douche move game. We have got the nail though. 
Not too bothered. And there's that there. And there's this here. Wow, okay. Uh, so we've got some time for the luxury of exploring these floors. And exploring the... Pardon me? Exploring these floors is probably valuable. We're going to hold on to the sewer gloves. It could be good for us. The reason I say that... I think you get the points as if you've picked up all the bombs that you get for doubling your bombs. And we're not really using bombs. So... I feel that if we... Um, uh, if we wait until we can get just a load of bombs, even if we use a couple in between times, having the points for the bombs is going to be super good. And we don't need them now, is what I'm saying. Then again, let's take two of spades, two of bomb, two of clubs. Two of bombs, a uh, well-known suit in standard deck cards. There's uh, napalm bombs. See that fucking ML P use of diagonal mom's knife? Yeah. Suck it and see. Oh, we've got a key for our key. If we're going to do hush, which we are, yawn. We really need to think about the fact that that involves lots of keys. The only reason I use that key there, and I've got another one, which is nice, is that there's a lot of points for that room. But I'm going to have to be careful not to use keys that I don't need to use, if you see what I mean. There's no point going into double key rooms right now. What can we get from those? You know, sad. You know, a complex, probably. Fuck me, I avoided everything. I'm magic. I'm the best. I'm the greatest Isaac player that ever did live. Uh, like that one, for example. Which could be library. Don't care. Because I've got the nail. I don't want any... There's no book I can think that I could want. Which is probably very short-sighted of me, but nevertheless. I'd rather have the keys, because on the hush fight we need seven. Which means we need to have at least four when we go down there. Just melee that, thank you. Which we have now. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon? No. I disagree that that was valid. Good. Good choice of positions for bomb. Not a key. Friends till the end. That's a pill that was recently reintroduced all the way back from original Isaac. So, uh, anyone who was there then, say hello to friends till the end. Friends till the end, everybody. Strength card doesn't help. All that does is give us some damage up and one HP. It can be used to scum up a deal with the devil. But I'm not too interested in doing that. Maybe I am. Not at this stage, though. Right, let's go and fight this boss. We've taken our time on this floor, but I said we were going to. So that's okay. I was prepared for it. We have the ability to fly versus the nail. I'm gonna take it. Why? Well, during boss rush, when there was nothing else to do, just like is about to happen with Hush, I reeled off all the things that we've got that are currently giving us HP. Including, but not limited to, the mitre and in fact, that's probably it now that I've given away the nail. But there's also these random ones dropping anyway. Essentially, what I'm getting at is we don't need the damage. We don't need the HP from the mitre. We don't need the damage. Mitre. We don't need the HP or the damage from the nail. I think I'm coming a cropper of the fact I picked up Strange Attractor, <laughs> which may not have been the greatest of ideas, if I'm being honest. But what we will benefit from is the speed and maneuverability that was afforded to us from having the ability to fly. What is this? Two of diamonds. We'll just use that straight away. That's valuable. So there's randomly spirit hearts dropping anyway because we're obviously extremely lucky and blessed. Blessed be. Temperance. Blow it up. Don't care. See? More HP. We can go in here for half price and there's an HP waiting for us in case this sucks, which it does. Let's leave. More pennies. Good. Hmm. Well, this is going okay. Uh, we've got three minutes to get to the boss, which could turn out to be harder than I anticipated, but why do I feel like I'm sliding around? Maybe there's a vortex. That happens. It has been known that I have not paid attention. We don't tend to draw too much attention to it, but it would be hypocritical not to at least acknowledge it. The fact I spend most of my time not paying attention is neither here nor there. 
Go for it, fucking demon baby too. Knocking it out of the park. There's the emperor again. Which we could use if we're getting a little bit scared and we want to beeline to the end of the floor. You know, sort out the hush fight. Holy crap. What is this all about? Excuse me, I have my uh, card back. Thank you. Did get hit there. Um, I wasn't a fan of that room. <laughs> Both of those buttons were troll buttons. Uh, and both of them spawned more enemies than exists on God's Green Earth. Sun. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, we're going the right way. So there's probably no need to use Temperance, uh, the Emperor card at this stage. So I shan't. We're going fast enough, except for when there's those bullshit enemies that hide away. Thank you, Daddy Longlist, for dealing with that one for me. I was not prepared to do so myself. I hate those. Really do. It's not, uh, it's not cricket, you know? I feel like it's its not giving the underdog a fair chance. Okie dokie. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There. Man, those things. Yara. Double everything. Don't care. Blank rune. Use it. Uh, that was another Yara. Per throw. Okay. Two, Two of clubs. Of use clubs. it. Two of clubs. Use it. Two of clubs. Use it. Per throw. Answers. Awas. Uh, probably doesn't help. Per throw, Awas, Blank Rune, Hagalas, Awas. I'm going to keep the Per Throw Rune. There's a small, there's a reasonable chance we get a deal with the devil. And if we don't want what, what the devil gives us, we will change it. If you don't like your luck, reroll. Life gives you lemons. I think that's what the uh, fortune cookie says. Fortune teller, I mean. In case you're wondering why the white pony there has a charge. It's because it has an active effect, which we're probably never going to use. Oh, brilliant. There's nothing in here. Ooh, although we have a Perthro rune to take to the Hush Find, which we got into within 30 seconds, which is great. So if we don't like maybe one of these, we will Perthro it. We could have taken the Yara rune down here. Oh, shit me. There's nothing in here. Kept all these, uh... Could have kept two of them. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. I was going to say, I could have yara Zodiac could be good. Tech point five is definitely worth it, I think. See what's in here. Maybe we want to buy something. Uh, I mean, I think if we take Zodiac, uh, let's reroll. Ooh, ooh, tech point, tech X, tech point X. Does this synergize? Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Ooh. So uh, Zodiac simply gives you one of the Zodiac effects every floor, a random one. Which is great, but some of them suck. Um, and I probably find that we were lumbered with some bullshit Zodiac item that we didn't want for a reasonably important floor, like e.g. the next one. Which is going to be the Cathedral. Which I'm hoping actually has a self-sacrifice room upon it. Because that would allow us to go one floor further and you know, really knock this particular daily for six. Now, of course, if there is, I think everyone would have get one. Ooh. So the hitbox on Kosh is bigger than I anticipated. Uh, I think everyone will get the self-sacrifice room if there is a self-sacrifice room. So basically what we're looking at there is everyone's in the same boat. You have to make the best of it, which involves not getting hit in stupid ways, which is the opposite of what is happening right now. We don't have anything that's going to really produce HP for us, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to make the best of this fight. And we can't quite... Oh, shit. Can't quite reach with Mom's Knife. This is a shame. But that's okay. We've got Tech X. We've got Tech Point Five. Man, there should be a robot transformation. That'd be sweet as... Sweet as. Just sweet as. That's what they say in some parts of the world. They don't need adjectives. Adverbs. Nouns, I guess. What are you? What do you compare to? Nouns? Sweet as roses. Sweet as yeah. Sweet as heck. Sweet as all hell. Sweet as fuck. Ah, you thought I wasn't going to say it? I said it. Because I'm uncouth. You know, I'm bad. I'm out of control. I'm I'm a maverick. I'm really trying my best to dodge here, and I think I've succeeded, where others would fail. We just need to live. That's plan A. Live. 
We really need to get Mum's knife in there, though. Mum's knife? Get Mum's knife in there. Put it in foil. Pop it. Is that what this is? Some gross-ass foil? Whoa. Not a fan of this at all. Okay, we're not safe there either. Are we safe anywhere, perhaps? No? Please? So I'm going to use uh, Tech X until... Well, shit starts getting real again. Which is what has just happened. I'd hate to draw your attention to the fact that shit is now once again real. But this is what the uh, active effect of the pony does, by the way. Of course, we could just stand right over here. Am I safe here? Maybe. I'm scared. <laughs> no, no, I am not, <laughs> not safe there at all. The wiki said to safe in corners. You ain't safe in corners. Bugger it. Let's run. Shit, I'm gonna fucking die. And I've got nine lives, which is the worst thing, because this has turned out to be a very difficult fight indeed. And I have no way of regenerating HP from these enemies. Fuck me. I took far too much damage on that fight, and I am not afraid to admit it. Is there anything out here that would help? <laughs> there is this, and this, and this. And why did I get a full charge on my thing? The magician doesn't really help. Eh, <coughs> we'll keep our flight. We'll just go up here. Wow, that was um poor. I would call that poor. Those last stages of the fight, that's the thing about Mom's Knife, is that you're going to get to the point where you wish that you had the extra range. But I did get hit a lot on the uh, the continuum shots, which is abnormal. Normally I can find a, at least a small space where you can stay safe and still hit. But in that one, I couldn't find a place anywhere. You know, I was standing back as far as I could and I still got hit. And Tech Point 5 is such a good item. It does a lot of damage for... Um, for being just a, a small laser. So everything we have fires where we're pointing. We have a magician and a magician. So, you know, if you wanted, <laughs> you wanted homing shots and you wanted to make sure they really are homing shots, got you covered. Sorted. These rooms are a cinch by comparison. I found pills. I did, and I took them. Yeah, these rooms are being knocked out of the park. And the moon. We'll take it. Let's go somewhere. Let's talk to Greed. Hey, Greed. Greed likes to hang out. He's a he's a cool guy. You just got to give him the time of day. You know? Everybody needs a chance. Just to make something of themselves. To be given the opportunity to show that they can be a productive and valuable member of any team be it socially or professionally. And Greed has got it where it counts, I think. We've got two hearts, which doesn't help. We've got two hearts, which doesn't help. It could help. There are two of them on this floor, and if there is a self-sacrifice room, we might be able to get somewhere. Let's kill Isaac. Boom. Uh, excuse me. Watch out. Whoa. Haven't really um, been able to judge the quality of Sissy Longlegs as an item. I haven't wholly been paying attention to how many spiders we've been getting. There was one just now, so it's not completely a, a failure, that's for sure. But at the same time, not entirely certain how much we did get out of it. We uh, we spent a bit of HP to do that. Not ideal. I always find that Mom's Knife runs, even though it's extremely powerful. Ah, ha ha ha. Let's say I told you so. No, I don't. Told you so. Oh. There's two two hearts. Is. There's a world card. There is a mob trap room, which will give us some extra points anyway. But if we can get this self-sacrifice room done in a sensible and not going to kill me nine times manner, which is an option, I am quite prepared to die nine times with this self-sacrifice room and see if we can get anything done on the chest. Not likely, but I'd rather die a hero than live a coward. Or something. <laughs> Lol. GG. We got hit in that room. Uh, not my proudest moment. But then this whole run has not been my proudest moment. That is a magnetic bomb. Emperor. Hmm. Hmm. Not too valuable, I have to be honest. Tammy's head is not great either. I will show you. 
Although it looks cool having 12 knives shoot out of your face in all directions, it's not actually effective. And I'm afraid that's a metric I have to live my life by. At least in terms of Isaac. Is what's happening actually worth doing? In that case, no, alas. Alas, it is not. The Empress, the Emperor... What? Yeah, two Emperor cards. That's bullshit. Alright, let's go and stab ourselves as much as possible. We can two of hearts twice. We can get an HP upgrade as well. Or we'll just HP. That's, that's really helpful. <laughs> uh, or we can get a fucking beam. Whatever. What did we decide this was? Two of hearts, right. So we can do that. I'd be very grateful if there was half an HP on this floor. When should we do it? If there's half an HP, that would be easy. Because, you know, half, two and a half, two, one and a half is three, which is what we have. Spirit Heart. No. Second secret room? No. I could be up there by Isaac. I'm really looking for a way of just sort of uh, sort of extracting those few extra pieces of HP out of this floor because I don't want to kill myself unnecessarily. Two of hearts. This was one extra play. Uh, which is teleported to an angel room where we get the sensor, which does... I don't even know. Uh, there's no point fighting the angel statue. It seems to slow down anything that's inside it. There's a quarter. We'll take it. Why not? It's probably worth more in points than it was... Um, you know, just not in, not in points. It's probably worth more in points than it costs to use pick up. And there's an HP, and we'll do this. And we'll fuck it. Okay, now what do we do? <laughs> Die a bunch of times, I guess. What have we got here? Emperor, Emperor. Emperor, Magician. Magician, Magician. Hmm. There's HP down here. We'll pick it up. So it's been a good time to keep the nail. Just uh, throwing that out there. Half an HP. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. No, thank you. Hmm. There's HP on the boss room as well. So we can deal with that. Let's get a few extra plays, that's the important thing. There we go, that's what we want. Angel statue. If you stop so I can hit you, that'd be brilliant. Might as well take it. We could just not take it, because then we wouldn't spend the points. A bit upset that the uh, the key beggar there didn't... The, the coin beggar didn't give us a an upgrade, an HP upgrade. I feel like it's let everyone down. There's uh, another HP. Now we start killing ourselves, I suppose. Because we haven't got to the point where the angels are showing up. Spirit hearts. Yes! The dream is real. Should have not picked them up until I had all the lives. Ooh, this could be good. This is exactly what we want. If we're lucky, then the next play will be the, the dog. So we want to have the emperor, the magician. Is there anything else on this Root floor that is going to help us. I think no. So let's do this. Oh. Yes! And we've got HP to go with it. And I haven't had to kill myself, so I've still got nine lives. Alright. I'm very excited right now. Can you can you tell? There's some bad spiders, which I'm not a fan of. Wow. This is a... Uh, this has not turned out well. Oh. That, that helps. And we've managed to get ourselves to half a red heart, which is somehow pretty good. But it's, it's definitely pretty good, because every time we get hit, we have a period of invincibility, thanks to the Polaroid. Thanks to the fact we've got the Polaroid and half an HP. Oh, fuck. We're okay. Die. Fucking die. Son of a bitch. No, not like that. Like this. Suddenly we're not doing as much damage. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up Skinny Odd Mushroom. I think it's a Tears Upgrade and a Damage Downgrade. Problem with that. Don't need a Tears Upgrade. We've got Mom's Knife. Didn't really think of that. That was actually a superb use of the pony's active effects. That never happens. Write this day down in fucking history, man. History man is uh, a, not really a strong superhero. Not not really written about much, but valuable, you know? Every... Even the Avengers needed a scribe, is what I'm saying. I didn't get hit on that entire room. How? Got 99 cents, so that's decent. Ragman shouldn't last too long, but it did, so I'm um, less than confident 
less confident than I was. The sensor seems to be doing a great deal of help um, on on slowing down these enemies, actually. Anything that gets near us, trying to follow us, especially Yera. But Yera... We could Yera something. Oh, obviously, we could Yera something. It's a fucking Yera. That's what it's for. What I mean is... We could Yera something that we have. The Emperor or the Magician there. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's 3 HP, just straight up. No quibbles. Or we could maybe Yera a chest if we get a chest. Yeah, we should probably Yera the next chest. I think that's probably the most sensible thing to do. So we get two items, basically. Don't really need to Yara that. We've got so much HP now. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> um, I I was saying that you have to do the hush fight and then find a self-sacrifice room to get any value out of it. Which I don't necessarily believe. Wow, how did we get to 42 minutes? Um, I'm not entirely sure that doing the hush fight is extremely valuable. Especially if you can self-sacrifice instead. Uh, and get to the dark room and do this extra floor. But as it turned out, more by luck than judgement, for sure. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everything fell apart. Something's doing damage that I'm not expecting. Uh, more by luck than judgement, we managed to get both. Uh, which is extremely valuable to me, extremely valuable to everybody who's watching. I hope everybody is as emotionally invested in this run as I am. I'm going to use all my bombs to try and find the second secret room, the super secret room. Which is not in any of those places where I put the bombs, which is basically half the course really. Kind of want to um, get rid of one of them. These are the champion versions of Mega Fatty that are bullshit. But apparently they have a lot less HP so I'm down with that. Don't make a liar out of me game and say that we should Yara a chest and then not give me any fucking chests. No, nope, that's a coin. That's actually completely worthless except for maybe one or two points. Maybe. Not even sure about that. Of course we have to beat the lamb without dying. But I suspect the lamb is considerably easier than Hush. We did that without dying. Maybe Skinny Odd Mush has given us basically a range upgrade, just simply by making it so that when we hold down the button it takes less time to achieve a full charge. Hate this room. Just stand still. And then weave through them when you know where they are, basically. Oh, even that doesn't seem to work. Good. Good. Ah, oh, doing alright. Doing alright. What's this? It is a two of clubs. We'll use it. We can uh, use the Emperor card when we've explored everything to sort of zoom back. To avoid backtracking, basically. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's nothing to Yera. I thought about yera after my last opportunity, I guess. I've already gone by. We'll, we'll backtrack a little bit, try and find some special rooms. I want to find the second secret room, which is possibly not there, but that's probably the main secret room. Possibly at the end of one of these. Uh, Yera. Now we've got two. we got the leech and chocolate milk. Well, <laughs> I don't know if chocolate milk helps. Maybe it's a damage upgrade. Who knows? Uh, super secret room down here, maybe? Man, where the hell is it? It's not in any of these places. I mean, I might just fuck it and use the Emperor card. It's not there. Emperor. It could have been anywhere. Where's my magician? Oh, it's outside. That's okay. The uh, sensor is slowing absolutely everything down, but I didn't realise what attack this was. I got hit by it anyway. Still, it's pretty cool. Got all the bonus of the slowdown. But the main bonus of the slowdown is that you can see what the hell is happening. Doesn't seem to affect that charge, which is a dick. Oh, this is still happening, is it? Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I just die, I guess. Fuck me. Fuck you and the horse you came in on, I suppose. Is the uh, sentiment of that particular attack. Look, this is this is turning out to be a bit of shit. Will you please lose some HP in a timely fashion? Wow, we're not doing a lot of damage at all. Which doesn't fill me with confidence. We can do it, obviously. But shit me, that was that was hard. <laughs> okay. We did the entire run and still only got 37,000. I think that was basically down to that 11, 12,000 damage penalty. It took so much damage and that's going to happen with the mom's knife run, but I've got the practice and that's important. So thank you for watching. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, I do. It was a challenge. Taking mom's knife always creates a challenge for me, but it shouldn't do. 
but it did, and I enjoyed the challenge. So thank you for watching, come back tomorrow when we'll do it all over again, and try to get maybe a little bit less of a damage penalty.